Oh, welcome back to Brittany's Brew Review. This is a beer review show brought to you by your homies at Quick Six Collective. This show usually posts on the 6th of every month. So if you like what you hear, check out the link in our bio. Subscribe to your favorite platform. We are your host, Brittany Fernandez, your boy fat artist. Before we start the show, Brittany, before I ask you what beer we're going to do, special shout out to you, boy, Dylan Artist. This is his 31st birthday, the day that Aww. he's so, 31. Good age. I know, right? Shout out to you, boy. Hope you have fun. Um, I know what he's doing, so I can... He's going to have know. fun. Yeah, he's going to have fun, so... <laughs> but uh, I can get a little, little butt. But anyways, dude, what are we, uh, what are we trying today? Well, what are you trying? I, I already have a... Yeah, so we didn't have an extra one for you because I picked this up when I was in Texas helping my grandmother move um, Mm -hmm. at some local uh, beer store in Arlington. But this (laughs) is a um, the Art Car IPA from St. Arnold um, Brewing Company. Um, You you always have like the better lighting um, in my (laughs) creepy ass dungeon, (laughs) Uh, but. Um, so I don't know. I just thought the, uh, can was really cool and learning more about it seems like it's got to be really delicious and the story behind it's pretty cool. So I I thought that open. I agree. So, um, for our viewers, the people who watch the show, I'm going to share my screen so you can see a little bit about this beer with us so our car ipa american ipa featuring a blend of both new and old hot varieties from pacific northwest so you know <clears throat> you know the tools up in the northwest and they love them some some fucking trees some hops you know they're all about that shit so anyways <clears throat> the nose is a blend of apricot and tropical fruit and mango taste starts with a big bitter blood orange and more so the mangoes and sweet tropical fruits. There's a lightly sweet malt body that allows the hops to shine while might maintaining a nice complexity to the flavors. This is a 7.1, so say goodbye to your homie B. She about to be faded. <laughs> and I already had like a, a sour before this. Like I didn't have all of it because it was a, a quite a large bottle, but uh, I was definitely feeling it and I had to slow down a little bit. Um, so. This is going to be fun. Yeah. So before I click away from it and stop sharing, this is what the can art is. It's very cool. We're going to talk about that in just a sec after B tells us what she thinks. So. So it's pretty, like, really pretty color. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Sam Adams. Damn. You good? Deadly. It's so light. It's so light, but so flavorful. That's insane. Like, you know how sometimes IPAs can be grainy in a way? Yeah. Yeah. This is like not that at all. And I don't know. (laughs) Full transparency. uh, My mom drove this back from Texas in a car for 12 hours. So, um, I was a little worried about it, but I've had it in the fridge ever since. Um, but I think it held up, like flavor wise. I think it's really there good. Go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this yeah. is um, this is kind of high on the. They have like levels on this web page we we're just showing, and it's like very high on the hoppy level. It looks like. But, <clears throat> anyways, you want to hear some some facts? Yeah. Some trivia. Some trivia. Okay. So this beer debuted in August 2015. Uh, it was inspired by the fleet of hand-painted art cars created by local artists for St. Arnold. The label art was designed by renowned Houston graffiti artist Gonzo247, who has hand-painted four St. Arnold art cars. Damn. Uh, That's really so cool. Seven, yeah, crazy. So seven <clears throat> of their brewers competed to have their recipe chosen for this beer. From there, they narrowed it to five recipes from two brewers. Uh, they did three brews of the final recipe, each with a different yeast. Their final choice was a new yeast that they never used. 
That's pretty cool. I'm glad they chose this one because this is quite delicious. Yeah. Um, Like this adds so much like mango flavor. mm -hmm. I like it. Apparently, oh, they don't even tell you what yeast it is. It just says it's different from the standard Chico yeast commonly used in IPAs. They won't say what it was. In 2015, like that, that means that's pretty, it's pretty uh, popular if it's been sticking around that long. And Yeah. I just bought it this year, like a month or two ago. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is from St. Arnold, uh, patron saint of brewers, obviously. Um, this is Texas' oldest craft brewery, which is pretty cool. They, which, oh, founded in 1994. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, Meg's birthday, too, on June 9th. June, well, 1994 is when my little brother was born. That's cool. So funny. I found it by Brock Wagner and Kevin Bartol. They chose Houston, uh, other than living there. This was the largest city in the country that did not have a microbrewery, which that's nuts. Wow. All right. So, like, basically, you know, just move in there because there wasn't something there. That's smart. At the corner of the market. Mm hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they said their goal is to brew world class beers and deliver them to their customers as fresh as possible. Man, I'm looking at some of their beers, other beers on their website. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a Christmas ale I really want to try. Man, B, speaking of Christmas, this is for November 2022. Yes. How I'm ready thinking are you? ahead. I know. How ready are you <laughs> for the Christmas? I'm not. I I'm not. Uh Halloween was like th 3 days ago. So, I'm still I still got all my decorations up. Like Yeah. Me too. Give us, give me a few weeks so that I'll be ready. I don't hate Christmas. I just, You weep. I just need to like ease into it, you know. Mm hmm. Mm And hmm. <clears throat> it's, you know, it's always an, a rough, a rough season mentally. But December, there's also something else that's fun to celebrate that hopefully we get to do. Mm. What are we talking about? Your birthday. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, is there something that's not that <laughs> I don't know? no Like, is, is there it's a your secret birthday holiday? Yes. No, we're definitely we're definitely celebrating this year. <clears throat> oh I'm trying to figure out. Actually, talk about this off the show, but trying to narrow down what I actually want to do. Is like you know my my head's like oh I'm like we're gonna do this and this and this and this and this so like I should probably narrow it down. Um, if you're on this website by the way of St Arnold, go to their um shop and then scroll down and look at this can grip thing. It's hilarious. Can grips. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a little handle for your V for your game. <laughs> That's so cute. Wow. That's These super people cool. rule. I like the little fanny pack that they have. Yeah. They have a bunch of cool shit. Maybe I'll meet reach out to them. Yeah, it'd be fun. They have cider too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Like, cider's cool, but like, actually, I prefer cider like 10,000% over seltzers. Oh, yeah. Like, not even close. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, Looks damn. like they have events and stuff there, too. They have a thing called a double down, 9.2. Whew. Feeling toasty. Tarnation, 9.0. Damn, bro. I know. I love all of their designs. The little, like, the St. Arnold is, like, different in all the different seasons. Very It's cool. really cute. I like it. Very cool. I'm super curious about this uh, pumpkinator. Where's that one? It's a it's under their um, seasonal beers. Oh, I didn't look at seasonal. I'm just Apparently, looking at it's year round. a it's a <clears throat> Imperial pumpkin stout. <laughs> yeah.
Damn. I like these. I tried to get Nathaniel to do um the minor into like seasonal outfit at, at one point. And then I gave up on it, but I thought it would be hilarious. No, it's that's really cute. <clears throat> Shout out to Nathaniel for doing mm-hmm. all of our artworks. Mm, fuck yeah. He did your he did the Danger Zone. Or no, he did not do Danger Zone stuff, right? Yeah. He did shirts for you? He didn't do the, uh, the... well we're working on we're working on it. <laughs> but you, he didn't do the, the glass work, right? Because that looks No, weird. no, not he didn't do the glass work. That was from another guy, but also yeah, shout incredible. out to him. That looks incredible. That's very exciting. Mm-hmm. The Punkinator. I don't know. I don't know if you could hit and take the Punkinator. No. Eleven point two. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be rough. That's that would cool be really rough. Art, though. It's really and cute. There's one above it. It's a it's called Commitment. It's imperial stout with a hint of vanilla. Thirteen point four. Love. I love hints of vanilla. Thirteen point <laughs> four, though. Oh. I would. I would need to eat like a a steak and potatoes and yeah, green beans and. Yeah, I think you got. I think you got to share when it comes to that. Split that one. Yeah. So, what do you think? What is this? A, is this a solid? Oh, this is like so easy to drink too. But like. Mm-hmm. Sometimes IPAs are hard for me to get down just because they're, mm. I feel like they do too much. Like okay. they try to go like too many flavors for too hoppy. And this says it's really hoppy, like, and it is, but it's not like, it doesn't take away from the actual flavor and it doesn't make it super heavy. Mm. Like this is a, I know I say this a lot, but this is a good porch sitting beer drinking that like it's i wish i would have drank it like when it was a little bit warmer outside because it's kind of it was warm today oh it is warm today that's true yeah in my head though it's seasonally not warm i know i know (laughs) so i'm looking i'm looking at limited release beers on there i think now Uh they have a bourbon barrel commitment it's 15.7 good lord what's the highest you've seen i feel like 15 is pretty that's pretty seems, like there. that's a that's a pretty high one as far as like just seeing it in the wild. Oh, they have a one that's sixteen point six. He's going down. Yeah, that's. I think that that's got to be their highest one, right? Is that like a challenge? Is that like the equivalent of eating like the spiciest hot wings? <laughs> no, no, no. There's <laughs> there's there's some there's some beers that I've heard of that are like legit. I have more liquor in them than like liquor. I don't know how they're actually classified as beer, but <clears throat> we're talking like here. Yeah, let me let me Google it real quick. Um, uh, world highest ABV beer. I forgot what it's called. Oh, Snake Venom. Oh, so this God. shit is sixty-seven point five percent. No. That's what it says. No. Uh, here, let's, 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 let's check out the 15 strongest. Uh, I know Snake Venom is like one of those fucking, that's like a challenge thing, basically. That just doesn't even sound like fun. No. Like, why Why you want to do that? But I mean. Damn, you got to describe it bullshit. It's you know? the hopping thing, too. Like. Oh, I would, I, I fuck, like with Hot One, I fucking love Hot One. I did it. Like not the hot ones, but like one for Sobros. I like me and Stony and our friend Reed did it. Like which, uh, which, which one did you do? I, I would have to send you the pictures. Our friend Steven picked all of the hot the hot sauce and there was a couple mm. that really got me, but then there was one that our friend made that I thought I was gonna die. Mm. Yeah. It was the mm. Reaper sauce. No, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear the top five the highest according to yes. website? So yes. Brewmeister Snake Venom of Scotland. I've heard it's expensive too. So um Brewmeister Armageddon, which is sixty five percent. And 
coal ship start the future 60 percent netherlands okay um brew dog and Shulshabra strength in numbers 57.8 but <clears throat> uh, why i don't know <laughs> Shorshabra Shorshbach 57 um brew dog end of history it's 55 scotland coal ship obelix that's 45 netherlands it seems mm -hmm. like this is the same fucking company mm -hmm. they're just like competing. that's i was gonna say yeah it all seems very like, one region i'm good oh here there's a sam adams one on here hmm? yeah number 13 san adams utopias 2017 i've heard of this too it looks cool <clears throat> but it's a 28 percent that seems reasonable. Yeah. It says it's more like a rich vintage port or, or old cognac. Well, it's like, how much do you really drink of that? Like, this much? You have to get yeah. one of those, yeah. like, you share this. when we yeah. went to the tasters. <laughs> yeah. You know, the little the little tiny glasses. Yeah, you share these things. Uh... Anyways, I'm glad you like this one. It's very... it sounds cool. Oh, man, I'm like almost... What about you? I'm not even close to night. It's a really small beer. Hmm. Oh, yours is a lot darker than mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Here we go. All right. We'll see where this place is at. Um, 2000 Lions Avenue, Houston, Texas. My aunt Lions lives in with Houston. A... Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lions with a Y. The L Y. Hmm. Lions. Lie on. No, my ons. My ons. Um, they're <laughs> they're open a lot of times. Uh, <laughs> I can't really find a good. That's better than not a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like. Uh, yeah, they're open quite a quite a few times. So go and check them out. I, I will. I'm find like, hours. Oh, okay. Here's the hours. <laughs> like, where the fuck are the fucking hours? Houston's pretty cool. Like, I don't know if you've ever explored it that much, but I it's a really cool spot. I'm not a huge fan of Texas. Well, me neither, but I always end up there because I have family there, but yeah, it's not really, it's not really a Florida. choice of mine. <laughs> yeah. I, so Florida. Florida's, like, I don't yeah, want to go there, you know? No. Who does? Unless you're going to, you know, theme park. Yeah, or one of the East Coast beaches, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I like Destin. Destin's an all right beach. I don't think I've ever actually been to Destin. I know every person from the South has been there, but I've never been Oh, there. yeah. That's like the vacation <clears throat> mecca for all of us Southerners. Well, oh, 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 I'm going to say fucked up. But anyway. anyway. Well, speaking of Florida, yeah. we went to Halloween Horror Night for like a day. Yeah, what? I, why were you there? Like, I, I was so confused when you were just like in Florida. I literally bought all of the tickets the day before we left. Like the flight and everything. <laughs> flight, hotel, ticket. The fuck were you faded? Like you're just like, hey, we're gonna go to the fucking <laughs> Universal tomorrow. So it was like. Like how high were you for real? Like that is crazy. Oh, I was sober, like one hundred percent sober. No, but it was no. like. We weren't going to be able to like do it at all for the month of October. Like it was just too too many things going on between work, like work, danger zone, and just plans. And I was like, we have one day that we can make this work if we want to do this. And I've been wanting to go there forever, and just never like I always get really overwhelmed about like what you're supposed to do what the tickets look like where you're supposed to stay it's just very like a lot of information mm -hmm. and some people are like pros like some people like have it all mapped out they know exactly like where to go what to do all the little tips and tricks and I'm like oh mm -hmm. I don't know I'm an idiot like no clue um so I was like well, this is like a trial run so we can like figure it out um so we went 
and we did Universal for the day. And then we did Halloween Horror Nights at night, which I would not recommend because I still feel like my feet are like not the same from like all of the walking. Yeah. Like my feet still fucking <clears throat> hurt. Um, and I was wearing like Nikes, like good walking shoes. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah. it was it was fun. Like we didn't get to do all of the houses, but we got to do like enough. Um, mm-hmm. So, but now I feel like it was a good experience so now i know next year Mm -hmm. how it'll work what what was good what was bad where you know all that stuff Mm -hmm. but yeah Uh, i still feel like i'm recovering from that trip because we left wednesday did everything thursday and flew back uh friday morning and then jesse was at danger zone like by like 10 Mm o'clock yeah (laughs) no no um, we should do a trip to California and do Not Scary Farm and Halloween Horror Nights there. Yeah, I would love to do that. My brother lives there, so it would be be pretty uh pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't even know that they were still doing Not Scary Farms. It should be. I haven't, like, I haven't I know, I mean, I live there anymore. So I know Elvira's not doing her thing anymore, obviously up there, but I didn't know if like the whole operation was still. I assume it is, but yeah, I mean, you don't need to hear about that thing until you're outside of, until you're there. You know, yeah, and advertise it out. Um, it's cool though. <clears throat> yeah, very cool. Um, they had an on... ecto cooler beer there, like yeah, a really. It was, I'm good. It was dope. <laughs> well, I'm good. It was I'm really good. good. I liked um, it. I'm glad you did. But... <laughs> I keep seeing these ecto cooler things. Like it's the same. I have the same feeling about it as I do with like slushy beers. I'm like, it's a little too thick for me. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they are kind of like sours, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So big news, dude. Hit my thousandth beer on Untapped. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty excited about it. Cheers. Did it. I did it. I did it. So exciting. I, uh, it was, <laughs> it was, uh, not as exciting as I wanted it to be, to be honest. <laughs> like the beer um, itself or like the moment? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, both. Beer. Both. So. <laughs> um, I'll tell you why the moment after Raw. But like, um, yeah, the beer itself, it would have been cool. Okay. So we were driving up the Hudson River, hitting these, like, small towns. That's awesome. <clears throat> so cool. Like, definitely recommend. Also, there's, like, 10,000 breweries in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they have Austin. Their own app. They, have, they have their own app for it. Like, oh, seriously. Not Austin. Anyway. Asheville. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're doing this, and I'm like, you know what? We were going to go do this. We're, we went to this fancy lunch I was hoping I'd hit it there, but they didn't have beers there. And I was like, what the fuck? I, got, I was planning this. I saved, I, I felt so cheated. Like, I was like, I saved myself <laughs> for this. And, you know, and it didn't I kept happen. myself intact for this. Yeah, I was pure until this time. <laughs> I didn't and give then, away the goods. Yeah, I didn't give it away. Um, but then, like most things that you think are pure that you're going to give away. It was just unceremoniously it was just given away. Bad. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was uh, bad, and that and one thousand one were not good. And they're the I same know. place. And but the only like redeeming part of it was like it was in a weird little town, mm-hmm. um, at a local brewery, and the brewery was like on the fucking Hudson River, like on it. Oh, and that's cool. Like, this is dope. And it was like in an old like town square type of situation. So it like, just felt right in the moment. I was like, all right, this is cool. Like, and like, I, I don't know. I was on like a, I don't know. It was weird, weird vibe. Like, you set the mood. You lit the candles. You turned on the music. I did. I did. But then it was like weird because like, you stood and I stood in line. Like, you stood in line in this brewery. And then mm. it was like, I don't know what the fuck that was up with the town. It was like, 
a billion road bike people. You know what I'm saying? Oh god. Like I'm not kidding. All of the It people makes in me this thing. so nervous. But they weren't around. I don't know where they were. They were just there. They were in the woods. Oh. Oh, 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 gotcha. So I was like, all of you guys are just fucked up riding bikes down the street, like in this little river town. I was like, all right, well, whatever. And it looked like some like old industrial town. Anyway, so had that, kind of disappointed. I was like, ah. Yeah. Walked away. The day got pretty cool. We ended up going to some more little towns. Um, tried a few flights at all a couple of different little breweries, like randomly. <laughs> and like like I get tired and I'll be like, all right guys, we have to find something for me to do. <laughs> like I got because I'm the only one driving. So right. like, I gotta find something for me to do. And <laughs> I be like, pull the shit up and be like, hit just type brewery into Google. <laughs> <laughs> and, it'd be like, and it'd be like I just pick the closest one and I'd be like, all right, we're going to this one. And oh, like uh, half of them looked like you may or may not get murdered. Like pull love in. that. Love that yeah. so much. But then it's like you pull in. Oh, it was such an adventure. You pull in and there's like all these it's all like industrial buildings and old railroad stuff and like cool. It's fucking cool. And then like you go into towns and it's all like, you know very old gigantic victorian mansions just oh, rows man. like rows <laughs> and i'm like you pull up zillow and these bitches are only like 400 grand and i'm like i will buy one of these today holy like, shit i'm not kidding we like we, i'll tell you when we tell you when you're, <laughs> you're gonna be like we'll go <laughs> um but yeah it was it was a uh, it was a cool trip in new york but then i got sick <clears throat> Um, I got this crazy sinus infection that like turned into sinus infection plus like ear infection. Oh god! Last like three days I was there. I was like, I thought so it was fucked up too. So like we were at this, we we did this Airbnb, right? And uh, it was like in this house in I don't know, like it was in this house, right? And we're there in the last night, and I'm like, you know what? I got. I was scared I wasn't gonna hit the thousand. So mm. I picked up two variety 12 packs and two different ones. And one was from <laughs> Brooklyn Brewery and one was from the Bronx Brewery. And they each had four beers in them a piece. So I had eight beers I could try. Like, right, that you haven't tried. Already. That I was like, all right, cool. Like eight beers, I can do this, you know. Right. <clears throat> um. So that last night, I was like, fuck, I can't take all this back home <laughs> so i need to get cracking you know maybe yeah. yeah and so <laughs> i was i was definitely hydrated i was drinking 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 my nalgene and i'm a nalgene ready you know shout out to nalgene. i had the nalgene yeah shout out to nalgene um i had it ready I was drinking on that the whole night we're just kicking back like this place i'll, I'll show you some pictures but it was so fucking weird straight out of the 70s the main oh, room cool. all it had was a record player and like giant couches that's it love that and the record player well, was nice yeah. yeah and then they had another little room that they had a couch that literally wrapped around the entire thing Ooh. and on the there was one wall that was just a projector Ooh. the only tv in the house was this projector wall okay yeah so <clears throat> so anyways you know, we're vibing, getting getting a little fade on, <laughs> listening to some music. Um, actually, shout out Adam. We listen to his isolation playlist a lot of that thing. And um, then, you know, I'm like trying these beers and I'm like, you know what? I got to hook this switch up to this projector before we go. Got to. <laughs> so ended up doing that. And it was amazing. Playing, yeah. playing all these old games that I didn't know. Meg's mom had played like with with her brother when they when he was a kid. She was like, "Oh, I played this like in '85." Damn. Like, what? And I'm like, I'm like sitting here like, you know, playing fucking Mario or whatever, like OG Mario on this wall. And I'm like, this right. is the raddest thing ever. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> wake up the next morning, 
I felt like a fucking bus had hit me. Like it was, but I wasn't hung. It was. It didn't feel like hangover. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What is this?" You're like, something's wrong. Yeah, this is not normal. Like this is not how I should feel. <laughs> and <clears throat> and so I'm like, kind of freaking out. Like it took like a super hot shower before we left. Like this whole deal. And I'm fucking bugging because we had to. I had to drive. I had to drive everybody back right. through every borough except for Queens to get back to Wayne's house. Like all of you're them. like, do I got the big C? Do I got the big COVID? It, well, I was I was thinking that, but then I was thinking I was like, man, I don't even think this is COVID because I can smell and I can taste and like I, mm. it doesn't feel this, this like doesn't what it feel. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. So we ended up I fucking zoned and like went did the whole thing. <clears throat> Felt like shit for a few days. Yeah. Got back here, went to the doctor, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's this. I'm like, sick. So, yeah. Sinus anyways. infection. Yeah. But anyways, that last day, though, when we were up there, mm -hmm. I was like, Meg had a tattoo appointment, and we were in Williamsburg. And I'm like, well, we should ride with her to Williamsburg. And then we'll just walk around. And I was yeah. like, yeah, okay, cool. So we ended up hitting hitting up two breweries in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> That's um, the best. Other, yeah. Other half uh, brewery, which is so sick. Best location. Um, go check that place out. And there's other place called Ebbs. And that place, I was super surprised. I even posted it to our Twitter. And our Instagram, I think our Instagram, maybe, but our Twitter. And um, they had a to-go freezer or fridge or whatever in the back, Ooh. right? There's a bunch of stuff you could pick from local stuff, like not their stuff. And I'm like, you know, scanning it, checking this shit out. I wasn't going to buy anything, but I was just like curious what they had. And what do I see but our friend's bearded iris in their fridge? <laughs> oh, I did see that you post that on, yeah. on Twitter. That's really cool. I was like, holy shit. Look at them. I know. That's what I said. I was like, look at you guys. Wow. They reposted it too. They were like, look at our shit. We, yeah, we're everywhere. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. What are the odds? Your favorite place. They were cool too. I definitely, like a beacon. <laughs> was it? I know, right? <laughs> Send them where I am. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, B. So what do you, have any lasting thoughts on St. Arnold? I mean, I remember it's already it's crushed. Love it, crushable. That was that was one of my favorite IPAs I've probably ever had. Heard that was first. quite Heard good. first, Brittany's review. <laughs> Episode seventeen. I, seventeen I, of these fucking things. Seventeen. I wish I had another one of those because that was quite tasty. But I only grabbed one. Okay. Failure. I only grabbed okay. one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll do better next time. I wonder if they're available anywhere around here. Yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll have to look. Mount Julia Beer Company, maybe. Oh, maybe. Like, they're the fucking best. Mm hmm. Shout out to you. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> also, if you're ever at Mount Julia Beer Company, well, if you're there and you're listening to this, you've already scanned it, but we have our flyers <laughs> up in their window. So go ahead and check that out. Yes. Pretty cool. I love it. And it's really cool that they uh that they let you put that up. Yeah, super cool. We're homies that me and I do. I um, went in there for the first time, like they got a bunch of like uh fall beer and and stuff and they were like so nice for me, like being in there, like, you know, just like looking around, like, oh my god, there's so much here and the like, guy was you know, he could have been a dick, but he was so dope Super cool. yeah he was so nice um fun fact about their that store is anything on those shelves if it's in like a four pack six pack whatever you can just pop that thing off have a single did not know that cool did thing. not know that yeah ultimate variety pack store <clears throat> that, yeah we'll have to Anyways. go in there together one day so you can show me oh yeah we'll get, i mean how it's done <laughs> I, I will i'll bless my knowledge on you I uh, uh, also have a mini keg in my fridge from them. <laughs> I, I was drinking Jesus on Christ. Halloween night. 
But oh my god. Yeah. Still not. Still but, not tapped. <clears throat> I'm gonna close it out. I think a weird way or a new way. Um, this is Brittany's beer review, right? If you have other beers that you'd like us to try, Ooh. send them to us. You just DM us. Ooh. If you're a company that's heard this shit and you want us to try your beers, hit us up. Ooh. Me and B live down the street from each other, so <laughs> it will come to us. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, hit us up on uh, Instagram and then we'll uh. We'll coordinate some stuff and get your your beers on the show. Or if you just want to donate beers, if you're even if you're not a beer company, yeah, you know, drop it by Danger Zone Video and pick up some things. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> drop it while Jesse's there because we won't drink them. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. But anyways, we'll see you next December sixth, two days after your boy has turned older. And wiser. Uh, oh, nah. <laughs> and we'll older see. and drunker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're aiming for this year. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's your boy, Pat Arthur, Brittany Fernandez. Yeah. See you.